welcome to another episode of ranching what our job is on this episode is we reassemble 6 to 1 let's take a look so you can see I have completely disassembled the cooling system of the car the reason why I have done this is when I'm towing with this car it's getting slightly hot hotter than normal so I have decided to do some work to the cooling system. Yesterday I have flushed the entire system of the car and uh, also disassembled the water pump, the whisker fan and the engine cooler. So let's take a look on the new parts. So you can see there's uh, our new parts, the water pump, thermostat and whisker fan clutch. That's are the old parts. You see on the thermostat there was a lot of black, greasy, I don't know what, inside the cooling system. That's the reason why I flushed it. A new water pump, I decided to do a new one because the old one was, what I know, 30 years old. And also a new Visco fan clutch. Because the old one, that's this piece, doesn't work so good as they should. So the first thing we do yet is put in the new thermostat with a new gasket. So the first thing disassemble the thermostat housing. Yesterday I have put out, out the old thermostat so I can flush the engine. So the next thing will be uh, cleaning the surface of the thermostat housing with a knife and some sandpaper. Okay, it's smooth. So next part, the housing on the engine. Disassemble the cooling hose. That's the old one. It's hard and it's a lot bigger. In size than the new one. They are getting to blow up in the heat. Okay, good enough. Next part, put on a new gasket. There, it's the same. Okay, new thermostat. New gasket. 
so. Next step, tighten it up. Not too tight. So, thermostat is finished. Next job, water pump. I have only buy the new water pump, that's the housing. And so we do we will do the same as on the thermostat housing. First cleaning the surface of the housing, then a new gasket and then the thermostat uh, water pump, sorry. So the first thing we do, we screw out these bolts so we clean the surface properly. So our next step will be cleaning the water pump housing surface, first with a knife and then with the grinding paper. Next step will be put in the bolts. Our next job is bring the water pump to a new home. First the gasket and the water pump. Water pump is installed. Our next thing will be a whisker clutch. Let's start. Next one. The next thing we will do is put in the fan shroud on the clutch. The next part of the story will be 
drop in the engine cooler. For the next part, the engine cooler and the I don't know um, fan sheet. Okay, back in. Sorry for my mistake. That's that's that is the fan shroud. That's the fan. Normally I speak German. So our next step will be the battery loom back on the fan shroud. Next step, new radiator hoses. Okay, it's not, it should be. Okay. So you see, I have also mounted the upper coolant hose. Uh, our next thing will be uh, the battery trays and the batteries.
So the next thing we will do is put the mask and grill together. Let's start with the left side. Oh, mistake. Little. Left side. Let's start with filling. I have filled about 10 liters of coolant into the system. The next step will be starting the engine. Letting let the engine warm up and then top on, top on what's left. Okay, battery is okay. Fan it right up. So setting the heater core to warm. The heater valves are open. Okay. We will drive her a little bit until she gets warm and then we will top off the coolant. This was another episode of ranching. I will do some driving and then top off the coolant. And you, please hit the subscribe button and leave me a like. We we'll see us the next time. Bye.